All right, here we are with part three of our knock-knock joke. It's actually video 1.2, don't let that confuse you, of Scratch School, but it's gonna be the final part of our knock-knock joke animation. That's one thing that, that um, programming is really good for, computer programming is for animation, making the computer do something that you can see. And I'm back here on our class website just because I want to refresh your memory how to get to Scratch. You can always just search for Scratch, but if you're here and you're looking for it, you click on Math, because remember, programming is math in disguise. And head on down, and I went ahead and put details over here on Scratch about to remind you about password. I'm worried people are going to forget that their password is actually their birthday and month and day and those last four digits of their number. So here's that example of, of Timmy. And um, once you click on this, it should take you over to Scratch. And because I have been signed in as Timmy, it just took me right back to my account and should do the same thing for you. And remember, you click on your little folder to see your stuff to get back to the saved work you've been doing. And I still just have my one project, which probably is about where you are at the moment. Come on, work with me here. Sometimes it takes a little while. There we go. Click see inside. And I'm still doing my toad and orange knock knock joke of all that. Maybe when you had your characters, um, surprise characters, maybe you ended up with something a little more sane than I did. But hey, what are you gonna do? All right, so now let, let's just refresh our memory. I'm gonna go ahead and click go. I've got hello, hello, knock, knock, who's there? And now Toad is going to tell the rest of the joke. Um, and I decided I'm going to do the boo, boo-hoo joke, um, one of my favorites. So I want to make sure I'm on Toad because Toad needs to say boo next. So I'm going to, again, two-finger click or control click on this purple block because I want to duplicate it and tack it on at the end, because I'm just repeating purple, orange, purple, orange, purple, orange. And this time, Toad is gonna say, boo, exclamation point. And then I'm gonna switch over to orange, same thing. This time I'm gonna click on the weight block, two-fingered click or control click, duplicate. And Toad is gonna say, or orange is gonna say, boo, who? with an exclamation, or excuse me, with a question mark. Boo hoo, hey, it did it automatically. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to Toad, and Toad is gonna say the punchline of the joke, which is, I guess, why are you crying? Classic knock knock joke. Two fingered click, control click to duplicate. And whenever I click, that, that's what's going on here, is I, I um, clicked on this and it triggered the whole series. And I'm going to go ahead and hit stop because I don't need to see that right now. And change this to, why are you crying? It's a question mark for two seconds. Okay, let's test out what we've got. Click on the green flag. Hello. Hello. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. Why are you crying? And then they're both going to laugh. Ha ha ha. So I'm going to go ahead and make frog laugh after the toad laugh after this. And when I two finger click and duplicate and I've got this um, block of text, the why are you crying in the way two seconds, you'll notice that if I drag it close over here, it can actually get dropped in in any of these spots. And if you get it close to a spot, it wants to kind of snap into place. And so you have to be careful that you put it in the right spot because if you're off by a little bit like this and you accidentally put it up here, it's going to kind of mess up your flow. And so I have to make sure I click it at the end. But that's the nice thing about this block programming is that it kind of um, gives you hints about what you should be doing. Okay, so now frog is going to laugh. Ha, huh? toad is going to laugh. Ha, ha, ha. And so is orange. So I go over to orange, same thing, duplicate, boo-hoo, and slap that at the end, and orange is going to laugh too. Ha, ha, ha. 
And let's see what happens, the masterpiece. Hello. Hello. Boo. Boo who? Why are you crying? Ha 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 ha. They both laugh. All right, that is how you put together a little video, or I guess you could call this just a little animation on Scratch. Scratch is great for this kind of stuff. And the cool part is I can like move my critters around and their little text bubble will follow them no matter where I put them. They'll just stay where I put them. And um, one little bonus, once you finish the, the, the meat of a project like we just did, then you can add special effects or do whatever you want to do to it once you've, once you've got the assignment done. And the assignment in this case was to make this knock-knock joke. And if I go over to stage over here, I can mess around with the background. Stage means everything you can see in the background that doesn't move, that's not animated. So you got sprites, and sprites are the things that hang out on top, and stage is everything behind the sprites. So right now my stage is just plain white, and I wanna choose a different stage. And if I go down here, I've got the same kind of options that I can um, use when I'm picking a sprite, but this time it's with backgrounds. I could draw one or I can choose one. I'm gonna choose one this time. And you'll notice it brings up all kinds of cool options. Huh, where should I put an orange and a toad? Um, oh, here's, oh, here's a garden rock. This is a good spot, okay. Here we go. So now this is where it comes in handy to be able to move them around. Like I don't want them kind of like weirdly balanced on the rock. So I'm gonna put them right in front of this rock and reposition them a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that is how you add a stage or a background to your to your piece. And um, that's the only bonus stuff I'm going to show you for now. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And then I'm going to go to file, save as a copy. And I'm going to rename this. It added the word copy automatically to the end of my project, but I want to actually change it to Timmy Knock Knock Final. And this means that I am ready to turn it in. And if I click over here, it's automatically saved and it's got this name. And when it comes to, to sharing it, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research. That'll be our next, our final project, our final piece. All right, signing off.